For number four, in the figure, a charged particle moves into a region of uniform magnetic field B, and it goes through half a circle, then exits that region. The particle is either a proton or an electron, you must decide. It spends 112 newton seconds in the region. For A, we're asked what is the magnitude of B? So we're looking for the magnitude in part A. Because our B is going out of the page, we are going to choose this to be a proton, and we're gonna be using protons for the mass and the charge when we measure it. To find our magnitude, we use the formula B is equal to pi times mass over charge times T. If we wanna see where this comes from, we can do the following, where we use a T for period, and that's going to be two pi R over V velocity. And we have R equaling the mass times V over the charge times B. Next, we have a T, which is equal to T over two. And this is just going to change to be two T is equal to T. First, combine these, we're gonna substitute our R in. So we're gonna have T is equal to two pi over V times mv over charge times b. From here, our v's can cancel out, and now we can plug in our 2t. And so we are going to have this and this bottom part. And this is just going to be 2t is equal to 2 pi mass over charge of b. We can get rid of these 2s, and then if we bring b to the side and then bring t down here we're going to see that this is equivalent to the formula right here now we can just start plugging in our values on the top we have our pi times the mass and this is going to be the mass of a proton because we just decided it's a proton and we have the charge of a proton here the mass of a proton is just 1.67 times 10 to negative 27 kilograms. The charge of an electron and the charge of a proton are the same. So this is going to be 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. And this is being multiplied by T. And our T is 112 nanoseconds. We were given 112 nanoseconds. We need this to be in seconds though. So we're gonna multiply this by one nanosecond to get rid of this. And there are 10 to the negative ninth seconds for our nanoseconds. So this is just going to give us 112 times 10 to the negative nine seconds. And this is gonna go into here. And once we have all of that put into our calculator, we're gonna get approximately 0.29t for our magnitude B for part A. For part B, we're asked if the particle is sent back through the magnetic field along the initial path, but with 4.06 times its previous kinetic energy, how much time does it spend in the field during this trip? We're given the new value 4.06 times its previous kinetic energy, and we can write that out like this. We're asked to find time, and our formula for time we wrote actually down here like this. However, we can notice that our time, it doesn't have any V, it doesn't have any speed in it. So we can make the note that since the period does not depend on speed, T time remains the same, which is 112 nanoseconds. We were given that right here. 